something really crazy just happened to me. So Farabee and I went out for our walk today and we walked like a little over a mile and a half, you know, feeling good about it. Came home, y'all. I just came home and took my freaking shoes off, okay? Like normal, like you know, how you take your shoes off. I'm gonna show you my foot. It's like swollen up. So whenever I was taking my shoes off, like sneakers, whatever you call it, walking shoes, whatever, um, I will just step on the back of my shoe like a three-year-old and like pull my foot out, right? I just basically did what I always do. And I guess I like rolled that vein or like smashed it or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened to be honest, but I mean, it's like swollen. Sorry, y'all forgive my toes. They've not had a pedicure in a very long time, but look at that. And it's not, it's not just a bruise. It's like a whole freaking bubble. I freaked out. Like I immediately sat in the floor and like I called my dad and he didn't answer. So then I called my mom and she answered and then I called my dad again. And like, I was like sending pictures. I'm like, oh my God, I think I have a blood clot. You know, do I need to go to the hospital? Do you know what this is? And I didn't want to look on Google. Like I know I could Google it and like find out on WebMD, but here's the problem. They, you know, they show you a lot of different things that it could be whenever you Google something like that. And a lot of times that it's, um, things that are very bad, as well as like, you know, other causes too that might not be as bad. So I purposefully did not want to look on the internet to find out, you know, if I could find anything. So my dad did though. He's like, from looking at it, you've either broken it or either you've crushed that vein. And he called it something, I don't remember what he called it, but he had, he's like, oh, that's definitely what it is. Cause he was Googling, I guess, and looking on WebMD and he's like, I think this is what it is. And he told me, and I was like, oh, that's gotta be it. Because something like where you smash your vein. And so apparently I smashed the fuck out of that vein. It doesn't hurt whenever I walk on it or anything. It hurts whenever it hits the top of my shoe, but it's not hurting. Like, I don't think it's broke is what I'm saying. I don't think it's anything broken in there. I think it's like, I think it's a vein thing. Um, I'm not gonna go to the doctor, but I just couldn't believe that happened. I mean, how, like, anytime I've gotten hurt, for the most part, it has been from something stupid. Like, not me doing something stupid, but like I broke my little toe one time, just walking, carrying a laundry basket, and I crooked my toe around, like, the, the corner of the wall, like the door frame. That happened. And then another time, used to, whenever I danced, I was basically, I already had my back on the ground and like I put my leg down really quick. And whenever I did my middle toe, like, or whatever, the one next to my big toe, it just flew and hit the ground and it broke it. Like I've had weird ways to get hurt before. Like not in, and whenever I say this, it's kind of funny because I used to kind of do I feel like a somewhat, somewhat dangerous things. And so like, I didn't get hurt doing dangerous stuff, but I would get hurt like doing like, you know, carrying a laundry basket or like just now take my shoe off or <laughs> like just dumb shit. It's just scary too, whenever you, you have something like that happen and you don't know, because I immediately thought blood clot. Like I didn't, I didn't know where blood clots would go, but I mean, I figure anything that's like that could potentially be a blood clot, right? And so I don't know but it's okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna be okay. Hey guys, we wanna pop in really quick and let you know about our service dog training blog slash journals that we make. There's a public access study guide, over a hundred task ideas, over 145 socialization ideas and a checklist, more than 80 tricks. There's even an idea sheet for places that you can train your dog if your dog is not ready for public access yet. You can log your daily training plans, weekly training plans, monthly training plans. There's also a grooming routine tracker slash planner as well as a medication tracker. There's stuff for us humans too like self-care planning, tracking, goal tracking, project planning, and financial planning. So I'll link them above for you guys and I'll link them below as well. And you can check us out on Etsy. We are Fable Link. And now back to the show. So we walked anyway, even though my foot's kind of not the best. I think it's fine. It's all good, it's all good.
So today, Fairby and I went to the grocery store, which was a grocery store event. It wasn't really anything. We just went to the grocery store, so that went fine. Um, I do wanna show you guys my foot. I'm actually gonna put a picture in because I realized if I take a picture of it with it against a light surface, you can actually see it um, instead of trying to hold it up like I've been doing because my floors washed it out. I don't know, anyway. But you can actually see, the picture I'm gonna show you, you can actually really see my foot, like what it actually looks like. So I'll pop that in. Um, but it's still not hurting or anything. And I'm like 99% sure it is a busted blood vessel. I think. We're having a little break for a second. Gonna go let Fairby enjoy the sunny porch. She actually asked about porch outside a second ago. And then I had to go back upstairs, which I feel bad when that happens. I know. I know, baby. not do this to her at all <laughs> which I don't know if she did that on purpose or not but I wanted to show you I actually cut her hair earlier um can I show so she got her hair she got shaved so I still have to fix a couple of things on her hair usually what I do is like I'll do my very best because that's kind of all you can do right sometimes the next day but I'll always notice that there's little like random little like groups of hair like tufts of hair that I've missed um, and so I've already noticed one. We just did this. We've been done for about an hour. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode. Thank you so much for spending time with us this week. We will see you next Monday. Bye, guys. Bye.